black chair. What you doing over there with your nice big long black hair? Hey brown young child. Why are you sitting over there with your dreams and aspirations floating in the air? Hey boy. Why you let society dictate what you should look like because the color of your skin determines your Hi, I'm Lakaya Knight, and I want to take you through a short, brief insight about me. I'm your lovely senior at Percy L. Junior High School, but that's more to me than that. I'm a fierce, loving, charismatic person who's very inspired on finding new interests in oneself. My podcast is about finding your soul purpose. What makes you you? What makes your soul glow, shine, or sparkle? Everyone and everybody is welcome to tune in to Soul's Purpose. Soul Purpose is a fun experience to listen and be open to explore new and different things about yourself and also enters you never expected. Plus, you can have a great conversation with me and possibly inspire someone else to find their soul purpose. Welcome, young leaders and believers. This is Soul Purpose Live in Action with your host, Lakaya Knight. On today's show, we have our wonderful Tatiana Norris. Hey, y'all. Today, we're going to be talking about finding your soul's purpose. What would you say your soul's purpose is? I feel my soul purpose is just... Be a person somebody can lean on. I know that's right. Yeah. That charismatic friend. We all need one of them. Okay. There are some things you like doing. Well, I do like playing sports, but mm-hmm. I also like being around my family. Very family oriented. I am. Like as you should. I have to be around my family. They get me. They know me. Like I feel my most comfortable when I am with them, or when I'm with my boyfriend. Oh, per. Per. <laughs> <laughs> you did say sports. So what sports you play? I play water polo, swim. Mm-hmm. And um, volleyball. Okay, and cheer. athlete. Yes. <laughs> What's something you do effortlessly when people are around and aren't around? I'm not gonna lie. I sing and talk. Oh, I'm gonna talk, talk, <laughs> talk, 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 and talk some more. I'm gonna talk so I'm gonna talk so much. Your ears gonna hurt. <laughs> I just know people be looking at me like, "What well, is girl? Shut up!" And if no. I ain't talking, I'm gonna sing. I'm a hum. I know mean, that's sing. like song. Okay, and I can't sing so. <laughs> <laughs> Just be sounding sound like a little frog or something, you feel me? Just Girl, Princess and the Frog. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's my favorite, too. Tiana. <laughs> Queen. <laughs> oh, you talking about Tiana Taylor? Ooh, that's my girl, too. Mm-hmm. Okay. What Next. she say? Bye, Ren. <laughs> <laughs> she sound like a sign, oh, Okay. <laughs> that's how I be sounding. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Name one thing or something you find yourself getting very passionate about when someone tells you no. Or they say negative things about it? Um, I find myself to do it anyway. Like, it's not that I can't t- take no for an answer, but mm-hmm. I can't take no for an answer. Like, if I feel like this is what I need to do, I'm going to do it. <laughs> no matter what anybody say, I'm going to find my way to do it. I'm going to get what mm-hmm. I need to do. I'm going to do what I got to do. As okay? you should. Yep, I am who I am. I got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I love that. Period. Mm-hmm. No, but I do feel you on that. Because when someone tells me I can't do something, oh, no, I got to do it. Mm-hmm. There's no, there's no, no, we going to find a way and we going to get it done. Right. I'm not waiting. Mm-hmm. We on my time. Okay? You hear me? No, my world. time. Mine. Okay. <laughs> hey, I got to live my life for me. Right. This is my world. Mm-hmm. People just living it. You better conquer it. Ain't that what Zuri said? This is my playhouse and you're just living it. <laughs> <laughs> she, she did. Okay. What's being true to you mean? Be myself. Be who I am. Like, me personally, I just can't fake who I am. Like, I Mm -hmm. have to be me because who am I? Like, who am I to just sit here in front of other people and just not be who I am? And if you can't take who I am, then you're not the person for me. Like, you're not not my friend. You're not my my man, my nothing. Like, if I can't be myself around you, why would I put myself in that position where I have to act like, oh, I have to act this way around this person because they wouldn't like me. Yeah, we don't shrink ourselves to nobody else. Okay, because I'm perfect. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's something wrong with y'all. Y'all got some little imperfections that's okay. (laughs) Figure yourself out. Don't worry about me. Right. Stop trying to figure me out. I'm put together. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Can you be authentic when you're around people who secretly seek your demise? If so, how and why? I can. Um, How? I just do me. I act like people not there half the time. I could be in a room with 50 people who Mm -hmm. don't like me, and I'm still going to do me because I'm me, and I got to be me. Um... I just love myself, honestly. So if I feel like somebody don't like me, I don't care. That's up to you and God. Take that up with him. Figure yourself <laughs> right, pray out. On it. Right, okay. Like personally, mm-hmm. I don't care. Like, that's not gonna stop me from doing what I gotta do. I got places to be, people to see. 
Mm-hmm. I gotta go places. I mean, mm-hmm. I just I I gotta do me. No shade with it. No shade with it. Okay, sips tea. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think it's important to know your soul's purpose? I feel like it's important because if you don't know your purpose, then what are you here for? Not necessarily that like what's your purpose of living, but what are you here for? Mm-hmm. Like, um, I do know someone, um, and they don't do nothing. They just here, no job. They got a car, but. They just live in and um, not in the best way that I would hope for them. But um, that person is trying now, just trying to figure out their soul's purpose. That's good, as long um, as they try. Mm-hmm. They, Effort is everything. They dealt with a lot of depression. You know, depression can definitely get you down. It eat you up. Alive, a <laughs> lot. So um, with that person, I'm just waiting for them, honestly. Like, it's nothing wrong with it. Um, especially in the black neighborhood, um, mm-hmm. growing up, I know, I don't, I'm not sure if you heard it, but I heard it and other people heard it. They always be like, oh, suck it up. <laughs> All the time. Mm-hmm. But some things you can't just suck up. You yeah, just, you, you need that, not only a person to lean on, but like, say if you hurt, right? Mm-hmm. You're not feeling your best. Something is, it's literally something inside. And it's not that it's just making you cry, but it hurts. Like, you need that person that's going to be like, okay, well, we can go to the doctor, let's talk about, you know, how you feeling or whatever. Or if that person is hurt, just True. heartbreak inside, they still need somebody to talk to. Everybody needs that friend that's going to be there for them. Yeah, and it's going to listen, actually listen to what I'm saying. And take action for it, okay? For real, because people need advice. And not that advice where, you know, you just tell me this, because all advice is not good advice. Right. And you know what advice is good that fits your life. You know what advice that I hate hearing? What? Um... Uh, what's like when somebody passed away? They'd be like, "Oh, I'm sorry for your loss. My condolences." Don't tell me that. <laughs> like mm. I know that's what you should say, yeah. But don't tell me that, cause it's like, what? What is? Mm. What, you think that's gonna help me? No, I need to show the yeah. cry on. Come here, come sit next to me. Let me, let me, let me boohoo cry on the side of you. Right for all people, I feel like even if you don't want to vent, just be here. You know, show mm. show that you're here, comfort, cause you ain't gotta talk all the time to show me that you're here. Okay. That's what I be saying. Like sometimes when I express myself, mm-hmm. I need you to listen. I don't need you to give me no feedback. Like don't don't tell me nothing, cause half the time I'm not going to hear. But I just need somebody to sit here and listen and talk. Right. And half the time people just be talking. They don't even know what they saying. Okay. And <laughs> that's what that's what I do for my friends. Like when mm-hmm. they be going through it, I just sit there and listen, cause it's not about oh what you're what you thinking, unless they be like, hey, can I get your advice on this? No, mm-hmm. I sit there and I listen. I don't really tell, I don't tell them what I feel like is true to me. I feel, I put myself in their position and I be them for a second, like, all right, let me be that person. Mm-hmm. And then I'll say something that they will not necessarily want to hear, but something that they'll say to me. And I'll just be like, if this was the role reverse, you would say this to me, so I'm giving you that same advice. Right. In any given situation, you know, even if it's not what somebody want to hear, they need to hear it. Okay. They need to hear it. Because if not, they're going to be depressed. Mm-hmm. They're they going to be like, ain't nobody road. there for you. I'm like, <laughs> I'm, I'm right here, baby. I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> what piece of advice would you give to someone who searches for their sole purpose? Trust your gut. And I say this because you would know what's right and what's wrong. Um, growing up, I did this program. It was called Polish Pebbles. Mm-hmm. Shout out to them. Y'all ever hear this? Oh, period. <laughs> Polish Pebbles, it helped me become a girl. And I know most um, like programs help you become a woman, mm-hmm. but it helped me become a girl. It taught me For young etic- ladies? Yes, actually. Mm-hmm. It taught me how to etiquette. It taught me uh, how to speak properly. Okay. It didn't teach me reading and writing, none of that, but it taught me how to be just myself. I like that. We need that for our young girls. We do. I'll actually, I'll reach out to them and yeah. see if they can come up to the school because mm-hmm. I still got their number. But um, I went to this speaking. I'd speak for them, basically. Uh-huh. This was, like, back in February. I talked to the young girls that was in a program and told them, like, where I am now versus where I was then. Now, even the girl, it was, like, a little girl. Her mom asked me, like, um, what advice would you give her? She's going to go into high school or something like that. So it was, like, and a mentor thing? Yeah, it is. Okay. And um, she was basically saying how not necessarily her child was, like, falling into the wrong crowd, but, like, her child was hanging with the wrong people, basically. Mm. And I basically told her, just trust your gut. because Your intuition right going to kick you in your butt if you don't. Mm-hmm. And I told her, like, it's been times where I didn't trust my gut and I regretted it so bad. So if you feel like it's wrong, just don't do it. And I know that's hard because you have to have the confidence in order mm-hmm. to do that. Like, you got to be like, okay, 
well, I feel like this isn't right, so I'm not going to do it at all. So you got to have that willpower to just be like, let me push back, let me cut back. Yeah. And, and it can be hard. It's it's honestly easier said, said than and done. done. <laughs> yes, like it really is. But um, if you really, if it's a urgent feeling, like it's like, oh my gosh, like I really cannot do this. Like you panicking, just don't do it. Just piggyback off that. Even when you can't actually be yourself around certain people, mm -hmm. or you gotta like tread lightly around certain people. Yeah. Like yes. walking on eggshells, where mm -hmm. every time like you do something, you're getting like hate for it, and you just yeah. you, you just being you, and you looking like, dang, what mm -hmm. that like? I, and it's like you one of them choke you up. You know, you don't listen to your mom or like your grandma <laughs> when they be like, oh, I don't like them. My grandma, yeah, you be, oh, these are my friends, you doing too much. Exactly. <laughs> my grandma used to tell me this one girl I was hanging around. She's like, I don't like that girl. You need to stop hanging around her. And I still hung, hung, mm -hmm. hung out with her until Thinking freshman year. Oh my goodness, she turned her back on me, and I. I I was finna cuss out. I should listen to grandma. I should have listened to grandma. Oh my goodness. But I blocked her. Mm -hmm. She told me happy birthday or something like that a few months ago. Girl. Mm -hmm. Keep running right back. Yeah, right. Same thing happened to me. She listened to mom when she told me she ain't like a certain little party thing. Okay. And same didn't thing. Listen. Didn't listen. Girl, I told my mom, she instantly hit that. I told you so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they be waiting for it too. <laughs> they, be, they know what's going to yes. happen. Yes. And it just be like, Oh, I just hush. I just, you're supposed to listen to me. Would you come back to talk about more topics with me? I would. I love this. Soul's I would love purpose. you to come back. I have a question for you, though. Yes, what's your question? What's your soul's purpose? You always be my authentic self. Because um, I kind of feel like soul purpose does not mean you have, you actually have, you know, have to have a skill or, you know, a purpose where you have to do, even if it's you just you speaking your truth or you got mm -hmm. like a a testimony or something and I just or even being you you know um yes. my whole life I kind of struggled with finding my right crowd or like just fitting in somewhere mm -hmm. and every time I did it always was a smack in my face so I had to you know see like you not you not made to fit in and if you got a stand alone walk alone girl mm -hmm. you your own crowd Period. people gonna follow you and we now or later but my sole purpose always, you know, being me, always speaking my truth and helping another person speak theirs. Mm -hmm. So I kind of feel you when you say, you know, you being you being that person that's always there. I'm always anybody's emotional outlet, and I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So mine is really just, you know, helping helping the world basically, mm -hmm. being you know, uh, humanitarian, if I may say. Okay. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's get into that on okay. next episode. <laughs> <laughs> like, how did this conversation make you feel? This conversation made me feel good. I feel like I actually got to express myself more than I normally do. And honestly, I feel like it's helping me even find my own soul's purpose because honestly, before I even came on this podcast, I did not know. No, it. not you know. Okay. And trust and believe. I figured it out. Mm. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> when you know yourself, you're going to know. Am I right? You right. Amen. Amen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this has been lovely and fulfilling. I'm your host, Lakaya Knight. Thanks for coming and thanks for giving us some insight. Tune into next week's podcast episode of Soul's Purpose, where we'll be talking about finding your aura. Bye. <laughs>